So you want to sell your own digital products, but every idea either feels too saturated, too expensive, or like it will take a ton of time to get it off the ground. I get it. I've been there myself and it's frustrating knowing there's money to be made out there online, but not knowing what's actually worth your time. So that's why in this video, I'm going to walk you through one of the quickest, simplest, and most profitable digital products you can launch, which is selling Canva templates. Now, Canva is a super popular platform with loads of people using it. However, a lot of business owners either don't know how to create decent designs themselves, or they'd rather just shortcut their own process and buy pre-designed templates of other people. So that gives you a great opportunity to potentially get a piece of that pie too. So I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to create your templates, how to package them, and most importantly, how to sell them. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video for the full picture. Okay, so first things first, if you want to actually sell Canva templates, then you're going to need to use a Canva Pro account. You can't sell Canva templates if you're only using the free version of Canva, I'm afraid. So the Pro account gives you access to loads more features, fonts, images, premium design elements, and most importantly, the ability to actually share and sell your templates. So you can use the link in the description below this video to get 30 day free trial of Canva Pro so you can get started straight away creating and selling your templates. Okay, so now you've got your Canva Pro account sorted, I need to share something with you really important because getting this wrong could ruin your Canva template business before you even get started. So please listen close. Now Canva has some clear rules around what you can and can't sell. It's all here in Canva's licensing agreement. So if we scroll down this page, there's lots of important information here that you should read. When it comes to selling Canva templates right here, it's important to know that you can sell Canva templates, but you can't sell Canva's designs as is without you making any edits to them. So you do actually have to create a design yourself using Canva's features and elements and so on. And then that's okay. But second of all, it's really important to know this sentence here where it says, unless it's a template created for use on Canva, you can't use any pro content in templates of any nature. So basically what this means is if you're creating a design to sell to someone for them to edit it on a different platform other than Canva, such as Photoshop or something like that, then you can't do that. However, if you're creating your Canva templates to sell to other Canva users, so they can then import that template into their own Canva account and edit it themselves in Canva, then that's okay. And in that case, you can use Canva's pro content. So before you get started, please spend a few minutes just looking through this. And also if you scroll down, there's some FAQs as well. It's important to go through. And at the top of the page, there's a video to watch here as well, which will explain everything. So I've left a link to Canva's licensing article in the description box below this video. So go ahead and give that a read before you start creating your designs. Okay, so with that out of the way, now the next thing is what most people get wrong when it comes to selling online. So this is really important. And that is choosing your niche. Now, designing templates for everyone, it's a shortcut to zero sales. So it's really important to niche down. Now, I know the whole pick a niche thing is repeated constantly online, but when you do it properly, it really does make your life a lot easier. So how do you actually choose your niche then? Well, that could actually be a whole separate video, but I've got two tips here to help you out. So first of all, you can start with ChatGPT to ask it to help you come up with some ideas. Just tell it what kind of people you'd enjoy creating for or ask it for Canva template ideas based on different industries. You could ask it something like this. Give me 10 types of small businesses that would benefit from using Canva templates, prioritize niches where people are starting online businesses, offering services or creating content, but may lack design skills or have time to make visuals from scratch. And then from the results down here, you can choose the one you like. I'm going to go with number one. And then let's ask the chat to drill down and we can ask a prompt like this. Please give me sub niche ideas for number one. One, and for each one, list three to five common tasks, problems, or goals where Canva templates could help save time, improve presentation, or grow their business. And now, of course, ChatGPT is going to give us some more granular information to drill down on different sub niches for coaches. You can continue to ask more questions to drill down, and then you can use a tool like Everbee to search the Etsy marketplace, since Etsy is a popular place where people are selling Canva templates. So you can see what's selling well, and this will further help you to define your niche and your product ideas. Everbee has a free plan to help you get started with your research, or if you need more features, then plans start from $19.99 per month if you're paying yearly, or $29.99 if you're paying monthly. I've left a link in the description below this video to Everbee, where you'll be able to sign up for free and give it a try. Okay, so now it's time to think about what kind of templates actually sell well, and there are loads to choose from. And this can include things like Instagram carousels, Pinterest pins, YouTube thumbnails, lead magnets, planners or journals, pricing guides or service brochures, course slide decks, media kits, digital product mockups, and more. Okay, so now let's talk about creating your design for your Canva template and then how to actually share that template properly so your customers can edit the template they purchased but not make any changes to master copy. Okay, so here we are in Canva and there's a few ways to get started here creating your design for your Canva template. And once you know what sort of template you want to create, you can either search for designs in here to get you started or Canva has already listed down some of the more popular options like YouTube thumbnails, sheets, documents, social media posts and so on. And at the end under more, there's loads more different types of categories that come up here as well. Now, what's really handy about this is you can start off with predetermined layouts. So this way, Canva will already set up for you your design with the right dimension or the recommended dimension. So for example, under popular, if you were wanting to design YouTube thumbnails, 
thumbnails, you choose this option here and the dimensions are already preset for you. Same with anything else you choose to work with like flyers or Instagram stories or under common sizes, we've got other options as well like posters and cards, resumes, letters and so on. And there's even more categories down here under office and business, like business cards and Zoom virtual backgrounds and so on. Then we've got marketing, promotional assets, personal and event planning and photos and videos. So there's loads and loads of options. Canva makes this as easy as possible for you. Now, let's say hypothetically that my research with ChatGPT and Everbee helped me to find a niche which is creating Canva templates for cocktail bars. Now, I have no idea if that's actually a good niche or not, just an example for you guys. But with that in mind, I'm now going to be working with a cocktail menu for my Canva template. Okay, so right here now we can see that Canva already has predetermined layouts for menus already for us. So I'm going to choose this and now Canva is going to open up the design area where we can start creating our template. And Canva's already set this up with the recommended dimensions. But if you want to change this dimension for whatever reason, you can do that by coming up to the top left and click on resize. And now here, if you don't see the dimensions you want, you can click on custom size. And right here, you would check the checkbox and set the new size that you want. You can choose the units and of course the sizing. And then once you're happy with that, you can click either of these buttons, copy and resize or resize this design. So I'm not gonna do that for now. I'm actually quite happy with the size of this. And then if we come to design in the top left, we will see in the menu bar right here, we already have quite a few pre-designed templates for cocktail bars already. Now, of course, it should be obvious you can't just sell these as is because first of all, that's ripping off someone else's work. But also if you think about it, you're sending these to Canva users and they can just find this in their account anyway. So you wanna create something that's unique and very different than anything else that's actually already on here in the Canva library. So ideally you're gonna to wanna to start from scratch or however you can use one of these templates as a starting point and then customize it quite considerably so it doesn't actually look much like the one you started with in the beginning that way you've got your own unique design but you sped up the process so with that in mind i'm just going to choose this template right here now i'm not going to show you how to actually create the design there's loads of videos on youtube for that it's kind of irrelevant really because i have no idea what type of template you're going to want to create because it's actually loads and loads of templates you can create in canva you might want to be creating social media posts there's not actually much point in me showing you how to design a cocktail menu the point is just to show you how to get the template ready and then how to share it properly to your customers can actually edit it as well. So now I can also add more pages to my menu if I wanted to. So perhaps I wanted this page as well as the front cover, but I'm going to click the little up arrow. So that is the first page. And now we have a second page. And perhaps if we had a third page, that would be a continuation of the bar menu. The layout is actually going to be the same, but obviously with different drinks and different prices. So to speed up the process, I can just duplicate this page and then simply change the drinks and the prices on this second page. So now let's just say this is good to go. And we're going to pretend that I've designed this myself. <laughs> obviously I haven't, but as it's just an example for you guys, I think you get the idea. But what's important is actually how you can share this template with your customers so they'll be able to put it into their own Canva account and make edits to it, but not affecting your master copy. So in order to do that, you need to come up to the top right to click on share. And there's various options how you can share this. Now it's important you don't use this copy link option right here. What you need to do is click on see all and you need to choose this option template link. So this is the link you want. Click on create template link. And now here is your link. Click copy. And now this is copied to your clipboard. So now when a customer purchases your Canva template, you don't just want to send them that link. That looks a bit crappy. So I recommend embedding that link into a PDF deliverable and then sending that PDF to your customer with a clickable link. Look so much better. So let me show you how to do that. So I've put together this simple PDF document and this is what I'm going to deliver to the customer once they purchase the template. What I'm going to do is make this button clickable so they can access the templates. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going back over to our design of our actual templates. So in this case, it's the bar menu. Come to share and it's this one template link. And here's my link. Copy this link come back to my PDF deliverable. I'm going to click on the button right here and I'm going to click on this dots menu and I'm going to choose this option that says link. And now in here, I'm going to paste in my link, click done. And now, as you can see right here, this button is now activated. So when someone clicks on that, they'll be able to access the template. So now what I want to do is actually share this PDF document when someone makes a purchase of my template. So come up to the top right, click on share and then click on download. And now under file type, you want to select PDF standard and now click download. And now this will download it to my computer and now what I'm going to do is host that in my Google Drive account. So come to Google Drive, let's create the folder for this Canva template and I'm going to open up my downloads folder and drag and drop this PDF into my Google Drive account right here and so I can share it now from my Google Drive account. So this is the master copy. In order to make this shareable and to get the link you need to click on the dots menu, come to share and then before you click on copy link you need to make this link shareable. So click on share and now here general access will be restricted so you need to change this to anyone with the link. So now here is your link and anyone who receives this link will then be able to access this PDF. So click on copy link and that is the link that you'll use when you sell your template. Now, 
Now, as a quick alternative, if you didn't want to spend the time designing your Canva templates yourself, what you can do is come to this platform right here called Fiverr.com. Now, Fiverr is an online marketplace where you can find all kinds of freelancers with loads of different types of skills. You can do all kinds of online tasks for you, including creating Canva templates. So while, of course, yes, you'd have to pay for the Canva templates, first of all, it's going to save you a ton of time. And second of all, bear in mind, you'll be able to resell these templates over and over and over again, but you've only paid for them once. So in that way, it really makes sense. Now, I've left a link in the description below this video to this page right here on the Fiverr Marketplace where you can find specifically freelancers who specialize in creating templates. So there are actually hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of freelancers on Fiverr. So this will save you a bit of time coming to this page right here to find the exact freelancers that you want to work with. Now, quick tip, if you do choose to work with any freelancers on Fiverr, I recommend either working with level one or level two sellers or anything that's marked as top rated. These are generally the best sellers on Fiverr. And if you click on any of them, you can see their reviews. This guy's got 105 reviews and 4.7 out of five stars. That's pretty good. And you can see his work, you can see the gigs that he offers. And you can even contact him before ordering just to ask just to make sure you can do exactly what you need. So that's just another alternative option for you if you wanted to go down that route. And again, link is in the description below this video, specifically to the Canva templates freelancers on Fiverr. Okay, so now you're good to go. Let me show you three different ways how you can actually sell your Canva templates. The last one is my favorite and you'll see why in a minute. So the first place you can sell your Canva templates is by listing them on Gumroad. So Gumroad is a marketplace where you can sell your own digital products. But bear in mind, of course, Gumroad will take a percentage of your sales, which will be 10% plus 50 cents for all transactions of sales through your profile or direct links that you share with your customers. Or if you've managed to be able to get your products featured in Gumroad's Discover section, which is where they feature all their popular products. And of course, those products then get a lot more eyeballs. It's essentially Gumroad pushing your products forward to their audience. So if that happens, then you'll be paying 30% per transaction. So it's quite expensive. That said, if you do manage to get into this discover section here, you can potentially get a lot of visitors seeing your template. But of course, there's no guarantee you can get here. And there's actually no guarantee at all that you'll make any sales on Gumroad. It's just a marketplace where you can list your products, similar to Amazon, but for digital products. The second place to sell your Canva templates is on the Etsy marketplace. And this is a very popular place to sell them. It's where a lot of other Canva template sellers sell their templates. However, again, similar to Gumroad, there's no guarantee you're going to make any sales, of course. But with consistent work selling your templates on Etsy, you can potentially start to get more traction, getting people to view your store and making sales. But to bear in mind, again, similar to Gumroad, Etsy also will charge you transaction fees and they'll charge you 6.5% of the total order. And the third option is to build your own audience. So to do this, you need to create a website and build an email list and you can build your audience on platforms where your customers are hanging out. So of course, that largely depends on your niche. Most commonly, most likely going to be platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and so on. Basically, wherever your customers are hanging out. Now, a quicker, easier, and low cost way to get started with that is using the platform called System.io, which is an all-in-one marketing platform. And you can use this to build your website and set up an automated email campaign. You can actually do all of that on the free plan. So System.io has a very generous free plan that will allow you to build a complete fully functional website with unlimited pages you can sell your Canva templates directly from your website or you can also create a sales funnel to sell your templates too you can also build your email list and collect up to 2,000 subscribers all on the free plan before you need to upgrade to a paid plan and that said the paid accounts are very reasonable starting at $17 a month so if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to create a website with System.io, then watch this video right here. Or if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to build an email list with System.io, then watch this video right here.